Minister, have you seen all of these billboard advertisements uh, from the Go Vegan campaign encouraging you to adopt a vegan diet? They're all over the place. Uh, it has been linked to the Eden Farmed Animal Sanctuary in County Meath. We're joined by Sandra Higgins from Go G- Vegan World. Sandra, thank you very much for joining us here on The Last Word on CFM. On. Tell us a little bit about the extent of this campaign, why you're doing it. Well, I started the campaign uh, four and a half years ago uh, in order to let the public know about the animal rights violations um, that animal use is predicated on. So to give information that when the rest of us learned that information, we went vegan. So to give that information at a much more public level, the previous grassroots education work that I had been doing was managing to achieve. Okay, how successful do you believe you've been? It's been extremely successful. You know, when I first ran the campaign four and a half years ago, people couldn't even pronounce the word vegan. Now it's a household name. People have a good understanding that it's people uh, go vegan because they believe that it's wrong to use and exploit and kill other animals unnecessarily. Uh, More and more people are going vegan all the time. It's very successful. Okay, what would you say to people who say that if you didn't actually slaughter these animals at some stage for food, that they wouldn't live in the first place, that you wouldn't have all of these cattle, chickens, pigs, whatever, that they are actually bred to make food? Well, that's precisely the point that we make all the time. They, they, they are deliberately bred into existence so they can be exploited and killed. And they're defenseless and innocent and they feel the same as us. And if you ask anybody, is it okay to unnecessarily harm and kill another animal? They invariably say it's not. And yet their behavior is not aligned with that belief because they consume and they, their animals, they their other animals. Sandra, sorry, the line isn't great, but tell us about your advertising campaign, please. Uh, How much money are you spending on this billboard advertising campaign? We we spend whatever we get, so if we get a lot of money, that's what we we spend on it. Well, the current campaign at the moment, I've seen a fair number of billboards around at the moment. How much is the current campaign costing you? The current campaign is in Ireland and the UK, and I... Now, I, I don't have the figures, Matt. Sorry, I didn't look them up. If you'd asked me, I would have looked them up before the show. But I think about two hundred and fifty or 300,000. Okay, that's a sizable chunk of money. Where are you getting it from? Our, all our activities are funded by people who donate to us. Who are the donors, though? Because transparency is important, isn't it, on an issue like this? So you're repeating the same allegations that the IFA have made and you're repeating... I'm asking a question of you and I think it's a fair question because when it comes to, say, political parties or it comes to anyone else, we want to know who actually is funding campaigns. It's the same way that we would worry about campaigns on Facebook and social media coming from unknown figures. So I think it's a relevant question to ask you who is paying for this. We're not obliged to give the the identities of our, of our donors. They're entitled to their, their privacy. That's, that right is enshrined in Irish law. So we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to give the names. We're not going to be bullied into it. But let me say, Matt, that we're entirely compliant with the law. We're completely transparent. We publish uh, accounts every year. But we're not required to uh, give the details of people who donate to us. But can I ask, do you have any corporate donors? Do you have no, any businesses absolutely. that could make profit by selling vegan alternatives to yeah, meat see, this products? Is, this is the, the, what the IFA are insinuating. And let me say, say very clearly that no, we do. our donations are not coming from large corporations. They're not coming from people who, who stand to profit from the vegan world. They're coming from people who have an interest in social justice the way we have. And it's very obvious from our work... We're not the activists who are advertising uh, on behalf of big companies. We, we, we all have always given homemade recipes, um, advertise that, you know, advise that people buy secondhand clothes. We're not the ones that are promoting big business. Okay, let's bring in Joe Healy, the president of the Irish Farmers Association. You've been listening to Sandra Higgins from Go Vegan World, and she says there are not donors from the corporate world, not people who are going to make profit from a change to a vegan diet. So do you accept that from her? No, I don't accept that. Uh, Why not? Because, what proof do you because, have otherwise? Well, Matt, you, you talked about transparency. That's all we're looking for here. I think the public deserve to know who's funding this. Uh, Three million euros is a lot of money. 
uh, if there's nothing... But she said this campaign is 250,000 yeah, to 300,000. Yeah, but 3 million euro is their, uh, was their fund last year. That was their budget last year. It went up from 1.2 million the year before and up from a few hundred thousand the year before. So I think that the public, uh, that's all we're looking for. Um, the, if they have nothing to hide or nothing to be afraid of, well then why not come clean and um, address and put out there to the public who is funding them because but she the public said that deserve they're, to know they're that. They're not required under the law to do- name the actual donors and if she said if they are private citizens who are making small contributions why should they then perhaps risk an attack by people on the other side if they're seen to have been donating? Well, Sandra would have also said that there were uh, large donations being made and uh, all we want is transparency there. We want Sandra and her organisation to come clean and uh, announce and put out there who is making those donations because just remember, Matt, they're putting out uh, a message that's very, very damaging to a very important sector in the Irish economy and it's only right then that the money that's funding that campaign that is damaging a sector that uh, we know where the, where those well, funds on, are coming from. They would say now that they, and you've heard Sandra Higgins explain the reasons behind the campaign that they believe it's to protect the rights and welfare of animals. Now, do you accept that they are entitled to put that message across and to do so via social media or billboard advertising or whatever method they decide to use? All we want is uh, whatever message they put out is to be genuine. What they're putting out is disingenuine. Um, it's uh, unsubstantiated. Uh, Sandra would be aware that despite the uh, authorities, advertising authorities in Ireland washing their hands of it when we made a complaint to them last year, the advertising authorities in Scotland took a similar complaint very seriously and uh, So now you have an issue with the Advertising Standards Authority in Ireland well, as well Yeah because they washed their hands of it when we well, highlighted Maybe they this, made a decision yeah. that it was a legitimate advertisement that could actually be put on billboards. Well you often, well then you obviously have two different standards for the Advertising Authority here and in Scotland no, They and would be ve- happy to go with our own Irish one rather than the same what they do in other well, countries It was Go Vegan World in Scotland and uh, Go Vegan World did come back and say that they would substantiate uh, what they'd be advertising in future we haven't that here in Ireland um, and I think it's a start to find out who is funding it because but it's like, Joe, isn't it a bit much to actually query the genuineness of Sandra Higgins I mean you might disagree with her assessments and with the facts she puts forward but you can't actually say she's not genuine but I don't particularly, I don't know Sandra Higgins, but I do know that 3 million euros is a lot of money. If it's been used to damage a sector, then the people that are uh, d- uh, depending on that sector for a livelihood deserve to know, and the public also but deserve what to know. What damage the is consu- it actually doing? The consumer deserve to know who is funding uh, uh, the Go Vegan uh, advertisements. What because damage it's a lot of money. is it actually doing? Well, in your view, well, it's it's uh, it's trying to influence people to move away from what we would say is a very balanced diet. Because that's just diet, advertising. You, diet is about choice. Sorry, you advertise food products but all mesh. the time. Are the processors? They advertise meat. Yeah. They advertise poultry. All the rest of it. This is just advertising, which says don't do that. Matt, we haven't a problem. I didn't come in here arguing what they what they're doing. I came in here saying that we need transparency around who or what is funding what they are doing. I think no and matter if you got that y- transparency, if it did turn out, and we're not saying mm-hmm. that it is big business, a vegan food companies that are behind it, but even if it was, would that matter? Well, it's very important to have transparency around who's funding it. And to, if Sandra has nothing to hide, there are people that have said to us, uh, you know, we have no idea who's funding this. There might be alternative interests. For example, Matt, if we just go back to Channel 4 program last night, Channel 4 has a significant... I didn't see it. What happened yeah, on that program? Well, the uh, apocalypse cow. Um, it, Channel 4 has invested heavily uh, in... a plant-based diet company. So the consumer that was looking at that deserved to know, uh, you know, the the background of Channel 4. Um, you know, James Cameron on Netflix as well with the, the Game Changer, which was very damaging to the dairy sector. He has he himself has invested in a plant-based company. So, you know, we need to know, and that's all we're looking for, transparency to be put there for the consumer and the public to make up their own mind on whether there's a hidden agenda behind who is... Uh, Okay, Sandra Higgins, what do you make of those comments from Joe Healy, the president of the Irish Farmers Association? That, that's not what Joe wants. Joe wants us to stop telling the truth about animal agriculture. We regard ourselves... We want you to start as telling the, the truth. 
we are the we we regard ourselves as transparent. What we did was we we shine we we shone a light on animal agriculture and the use of other animals. All we do is we give factual information to the public. Every single ad that we put out is substantiated and very carefully researched. The, the, what Matt said, what Joe said there about our, our ad in, in Scotland, he, he's absolutely incorrect. Our ad in Scotland was correct and we agreed to settle the case informally because it had run for, for 12 months. We still have climate change ads in Ireland and they're all over the UK at the moment. We all know that animal agriculture contributes very significantly to environmental destruction and climate change. We all know that dairy takes babies from their mothers. We all know that there's no right way to kill someone who doesn't want to die. They're very simple facts and we have given this factual information to the public to help them see that other animals have rights and that they feel like us and that they value their lives and that it's wrong to harm them unnecessarily. And if you ask anyone if it's wrong to unnecessarily harm and kill another animal, they'll they'll say it is wrong. Okay, but Sandra, what about the livelihood of the Irish farmers who have livestock and who depend for their income and for their own food on the livestock that they rear and then sell or slaughter. Well, from our point, you see, from our point of view, is that other animals are not food. They're sentient beings with rights, and it is immoral uh, and unjust to use them as food. Of course, I can understand anybody if they feel their income is threatened, that they're going to retaliate and they're going to feel fearful. But I think we can all see, we know from all the scientific reports that have come out, particularly in the last 12 months, we know that animal agriculture is not sustainable. And the future is plant-based agriculture. And Joe, the big businesses behind plant-based production, you know as well as me, But the animal agricultural industry is behind a lot of us. And if you really cared about your members, you would be doing as Go Vegan World is doing. You would be assisting them to transition to a plant-based economy. Okay, let me put that to to Joe Healy. Why not get your members to transition? What world she, Sandra, inhabits? For God's sake, it's part of biodiversity. It's part of nature. It's part of the nature circle. Um, We've we've eaten meat. It's part of a balanced diet. Uh, Dairy products are part of a very balanced diet. Diet. Not for everybody, um, and many people I think don't regard well, uh, dairy products well, we and say, meat as been necessary Matt, for their and diet. I said it to you before, diet is about choice and balance, and it's up to the people. Things choice. shouldn't be it's pushed down their throat. Sandra, I think now you um, you had enough time. I'll decide um, who said that. Yeah, I, all we want is transparency. Matt, you were a business journalist that went after transparency down the years. All we want here is transparency in who's funding want, this organisation. Three million, three million truth. isn't, if you're going to let her continue to uh, interrupt me, you know, that's okay too. But three million isn't just a fistful of money. It's a lot of money. We have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I've sat through two interviews but, with, okay, with but Sandra. Sandra, Kendra, can you give us a reassurance that that three million euro fund all came from individual donations and did not come from those with vested interests in promoting vegan food products at the expense of meat products. It, it, no, it absolutely didn't. In fact, you know, we thought that we would get a lot more donate. We thought that we would get donations from those businesses. But, and we're surprised that we haven't got any. We haven't got any. But as you said, Matt, would it matter? The very people who are invested in plant-based agriculture are animal agriculture. It's the, you know, the, 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 the big companies that are producing dairy are also producing plant milk. The big companies that are producing processed uh, animal flesh are producing uh, fast food, plant-based options. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. It's irrelevant. Our ads are factual. Public have a right to know about them. They also have a responsibility to act on them. Okay. And Joe, Joe doesn't just want to know the identity of our donors. He wants us to stop. Well, he said all he wants is to know the identity of the well, owners. I think so we all know. I think both of you are, in fairness, both of you are implying that the other wants things beyond what they're actually saying. But just to finish with you, Joe Healy of the IFA, look, even if there is a cultural shift away from the consumption of meat products and dairy products here in Ireland, won't you be able to sell to places like China where they're actually looking for as much of this food content as they possibly can get that you just find somewhere else to sell it? 
Look, we go into 180 markets around the world because we're renowned as being some of the best farming producers of dairy and beef products. We're recognized as the most carbon efficient producers of dairy product in Europe and in the top five in, in beef production. So, you know, we have it, uh, health and safety standards of our agriculture, the way we look after animals, or be audits, uh, quality assurance audits. So everything that the Irish farmer is doing has to be to the top standards anywhere in the world and all we want is uh, transparency to come from who's funding an organisation that's, that's trying to damage our sector. Joe Healy, President of the Irish Farmers Association and Sandra Higgins from Go Vegan World thank you both for joining us here on The Last Word at Today FM.